Is, is it working? Hi everyone! Today we decided to do something a little bit different and get out and about and visit some of our old haunts. After Roy invited us on Aqua Vitae a couple of weeks ago, we've had loads of lovely new subscribers. So we thought we'd give you a wee bit of background into who we are and how we started out. First of all, a wee drive from Stirling out to Dune. Hello, I'm Jen. My name's Rachel. And we are whiskey geeks. Not whiskey snobs. And today we are not tasting whiskey. We're doing something a little bit different. Um, so we're coming to where our old shop used to be and also to some inspiration that we got our name from as well. So where it all started. So we're we're parked up at Dune Castle at the moment and we're going to go for a walk um, with these people in here who are making a lot of noise at the moment because um, Dune Castle is closed at the moment but um, it's very nice for walks although unfortunately it is raining oh, oh dear. we have a fancy camera that we're we trying a fancy camera that can't work <laughs> um, so you will walk around the some of the castle a bit and tell you more while we're strolling yeah So this is Dune Castle behind us and this is kind of gave us the inspiration for our name, didn't it? It did. So uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, part of it was filmed at Dune Castle. You probably recognise it. Um, and so the Grail, the name of our shop and our tasting company. And also, so the Grail is the cup of life. Uh, the Holy Grail, we are not as holy to be fair. Yeah. Um, but the whiskey from uh, in Gaelic is Ushkala, which means the water of life. So that kind of tied it in that way as well. Yeah, and it was cup your dad. Of life, water of life. Yeah, my dad came up with the initial Good idea. Good old um, And yeah, the castle has been used for filming lots of other things recently. So Game of Thrones and also Outlander mm -hmm. and more things. I think so, but I can't remember. And more things that are. probably, if you know, yep. you can let us know. Yeah. Um, but it's cool, you can usually visit it, but as you'll see, they're doing some construction work right now. Uh, so we can't go around, but we can maybe do another video. Yes, we'll come and back and get our coconuts. Yeah, yeah. How are you? Dying, Richard. How are you? Nice, nice to see you anyway. And we'll wait, have a look at Facebook and maybe see you on the next Facebook. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Uh, so behind us we have, if we've got the camera angle right anyway, our old shop. Our old shop, back to where it all began. And it doesn't look like our old shop anymore because there's a new person there, is, there, there just is. now. Um, but yes, we're here for two years. No. A year and a half. A year and a half. I think we were here for a year and a half. 2000, and it was oh, 2008. Uh, 2019. 2018. Christmas 2018. Opened. To Christmas 2019. To May 2020. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 2021? I feel like it's 2021 because we only moved Yeah, so we're in two and a half years. There we go. <laughs> two and a half years we were time, here. Time time oh goes by very quickly. The <laughs> pandemic was weird for everyone. Yes. Um, so <laughs> yeah. Back to visit all our Dune friends. So we've just been speaking to Peter. Um and we've seen Stacy from Dune Cheek. Yep, yep. And this is with Lane of Dune. Lane here with all their fancy, fancy clothes. There we go. Yes, with Lane. Beautiful clothes, beautiful clothes. And there is a um, Charlotte Grace uh, bridal shop that's been there for yonks and yonks and yonks, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Um, and the information centre, where we we posted so many packages from that. Yeah, uh, and still do. Down. Yeah, yeah, still use them because they're I'm awesome. back tomorrow to post some more. Um, and 
There is the Market Cross as well, you can see. Market Cross. Market Cross, sorry, thank you. So do you, do you drink whiskey? Do you drink whiskey? Never yeah, heard of it before. <laughs> um, so we got these tops. It's got whiskey eats, not whiskey snobs, because that's always been one of our motos. But also, please don't ask if we drink whiskey, because that mm -hmm. seems to be a feature that people it does. do a lot. Less so though, I'm noticing. Less so now, definitely. But yeah, um, it used to be an everyday occurrence. And it's still a, probably, a, still at least one today. Yeah, 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 that someone does that. Um, so or at least implies it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we do drink whiskey. We do. We <laughs> certainly do. <laughs> You've seen us many a time. Drinking. No, it's just all been apple juice the whole time. Yeah, that's it. It's all been cold tea. Yeah, cold tea and apple juice. <laughs> Liars. So, what will we do next? Uh, we could go to where we first met. Let's do it. outside Deanston Distillery where we first met working as tour guides and the smell is amazing it's nice to be back we miss that smell I, that. I, love, I love that smell yeah. that part when you're up over it's got yeah, the smell yeah. the distillery but usually it's just a lovely smell um, like very bready at the beginning mm, yeah yeah, yeah. I learned most of my or my basics about whiskey was Yeah, same, yeah. same. I already liked whiskey, um, but I didn't really know much about the process. Um, so yeah, that was good learning that year. But you you learned how to like whiskey here. Yeah, yeah, I, I hated whiskey, I lied to get the job, as I've said before. <laughs> uh, my dad was very keen, especially on me getting the job for a discount thing. Totally um, fair. But I, but I spent a, quite a few uh, sessions with whoever learning about whiskey and like Kirsty used to be the master blender giving us the tasty whiskey yeah, and I was like mmm delicious but inside I was like oh this is disgusting fire water <laughs> but I like it now I like it now you just got and Deanston is drinking. a good one Deanston's a good one Deanston's lovely and they also own Joe Mori and Dunham and for the Deanston malt this is the water that they use from the river teeth that we just walked around uh, at the castle uh, yeah. that after there flows along here and goes into this building here and you can see yeah the to make whiskey all the floors there like the big tall building but that's where the stills are and that's warehouses Oh, the smell! That, that's, that is very nostalgic. It is. It is. Oh, I wish we could do smell of it, you know. It smells great. Oh, it smells so good. And so they used to Ooh. say the top floors up there are haunted as well. No one went up there. With ghosts. Ghosts of the... Ghosts Many of the, the ghosts. cotton mills. We were those ghosts. We were those ghosts on the Halloween tour. <laughs> I remember that well. Any ghosties today? And now we're in Calendar, this is our shop. 
So this um, of this shop for just over a year and a half, coming up yeah. to two years now. Um, and we did used to work in the shop actually for someone else. We did before we had the Grail shop. So we were in Calendar so we for knew a while. It well. We moved. Yep, and then we came back. So yeah, good um, to be back. So we have um, the whiskies. The whiskies. <laughs> and yeah, so the Isla's in the island. Some lowland here, some local ones, some highland whiskies, the fancy cabinet with the pricey price tags, some blends and some blended malts, some nice easy drinking space side, some of Rachel's favourites over here. Oh, I zoom right in. <laughs> belly, belly walker. <laughs> Then on to rum, oh no, international whiskies. International can't whiskies, can't miss that. Some lovely Swedish whiskey, Japanese, Indian, Irish, all sorts of things. And then on to vodkas, rums, fancy rums. And then lots and lots of gins. Gins from all over Scotland and some international ones here too. Table. What would you like to try? Susie, yes, here's a really, really good employee. Yeah, on, on her phone with her coffee. Working hard here with her coffee and her food and caffeinated. Just keeping myself hydrated and caffeinated. Yeah. And here we have Kerry. Hello. Who's working today? Really Kerry hard. knows all about gin. I do. <laughs> Um, Come yeah. visit us in Calendar. And if you if Calendar's too far for you to visit, you have no excuses. You can join one of our virtual tastings. So we do gin and whiskey tastings regularly. And you can subscribe to our channel, and we post regularly, at least once a week. Yep, yep. And you can also follow us on all the various social media channels too. Um, we're very much not good at tweeting. We are working on becoming more bird-like, but we are not quite there. <laughs> um, but we are on Facebook and we are on Instagram, both at the Grail Tastings and also at Calendar Drink Shop. Sorry. <laughs> um, no, at Calendar Drinks Co. <laughs> you forgot the name of the I business. I forgot my own tag. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. And you can follow us on social media at The Grail Tastings. See you next time. Slange. Can I rattle it around so it's on us? Yeah, I think that's probably not it'll, the best yeah, way to do it though. It'll go upside down.